Greetings, greetings. Today we're going to talk about hip pain from arthritis. Now Sam is going to help us out here, but if you have hip pain from arthritis, you've been to the doctor, your x-rays show the joint's looking a little rough, and we're looking at the joint right here, the ball. There's actually a decrease in space. The doctor will show you that. They'll say, that's not good. Look at the good side, look at the bad side. We're going to show you some exercises that you can do to improve the pain, get you walking better, and then sometimes even avoid the surgery. You guarantee that? At least delay it. All right, okay. Okay. Very good. We got 9.3 seconds to work with Sam to get him ready. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Okay, let's look at the joint of the hip a little closer with arthritis. We're looking at the ball of the hip. Uh, again, with the model, you won't have these steel straps in here that we need for the Sam for the model. But the ball will look nice and shiny. It fits in the socket. Nice and smooth. Yep, a very nice fit. However, when you look in arthritis, you're going to see that things don't look so smooth and shiny. But the biggest thing in the x-rays you're going to notice is on a healthy hip, there will be a little bit of a gap. We can't really show it on Sam, but you'll right. see it. The doctor will point it out. There will be a gap between the bone of the acetabulum and the bone of the fem femoral head. On an arthritic, particularly a seriously involved arthritic head, that gap disappears. Right. And that's when they say bone on bone, and those bones become rough, like sand. flaky. Yeah, and it becomes a very painful situation. We're going to show you exercises to open that gap, stretch the tissues for range of motion, as well as get the synovial fluid, the lubrication that keeps it healthy, are all going to be assisted. The body's natural oil. That's right. Everything is going to be addressed with these exercises, and they're not that hard. You can do them at home. Okay, this is one of my first go-to exercises for hip pain for someone for relief at home. Uh, if you have a stairway like this, and most people have one available at home, what you do is if this is the hip, I got the weight down here, is the one that's painful with the arthritis, that one is going to be dangling like this, like a pendulum. Okay, you can do this with a weight around your ankle to get a little more traction on the joint up here, but you don't have to. You can do it without that. I have it there just to show you, plus you can designate it. Okay, so the key is, is that you learn to relax the muscles around the hips so that the joint can distract, open up that space, get the fluid, the synovial fluid in where it belongs. You're getting motion without pain. Yep. And that takes a bit, because it's a painful hip, the natural tendency is to contract, and you don't have to, you're not even thinking about it. So sometimes you can just massage these muscles, really relax, breathe, you're not gonna have the TV on, you're not gonna be talking to someone, you need to do this quietly, breathe, relax, and then you're gonna feel things loosen up. I've had good success with this. You just had a patient, Brad, right? Y yes, I did. As a matter of fact, I treated her on texting and, uh, uh, over the internet, oh, basically. Texting. Yeah, because she lived too far away and she just wanted to get some exercises, very much a self-doer, and this is what she did, and she was grateful. We've got a couple exercises that worked well with her. You'll do this for about 30 seconds to a minute, okay? And then you're going to do it throughout the day, not just once right. a day, every couple hours. Give yourself some relief. Absolutely. Open that space up. Use a little traction. Going on to the next one. Number two, I like this one because it's easy to do and you can do it in bed before you get out of bed, but you'll want to do it throughout the day as well. I call it the figure four. Bob has painful hip. The pink represents the hip or the side with the pain. And he just lifts and puts his ankle above the kneecap if you have the range of motion, and then allow gravity to let that knee go down. Now, if these create sharp pain, it's too aggressive, it's not for you, things are too far gone, but you should be able to do it hopefully and just gently allow it to relax. You're gonna hang out like this for you know a couple minutes, up to three minutes at the most. If you wanna just bob it up and down gently, sometimes that helps loosen things up. Again, we're trying to get the synovial fluid in that joint, allow it to free up. And then if this becomes easy, you're gonna lift up the other leg and then do the figure four again. There you go. And feeling things are feeling better. If you'd like to get some extra pressure, you can take this hand and just push on that knee. There you go. You like it, Bob? 
I do this for bats. Oh, that's right. That's really for the. That's yeah, even more advanced. advanced. Yep, exactly. Right. So there we go. That's that one again. Multiple times a day, you can do it on the bed, on the couch, on the floor. We're going to go to number three. Okay, the third option. Now this option it does take a second person. As a matter of fact, that same patient I had, I taught her husband to do this, and it's very easy to do. You just have to be careful. So. Here's a painful leg. I'm going to grab the egg leg. Uh, it would be done on the bed, of course. They actually bought a plinth <laughs> for their house because, oh, really? yeah, because uh, they use it a lot. So you gently grab the ankle here. And what I'm going to do is just gently pull out. And it's not a, you're not pulling as hard as you can. And no pain. Yeah. And so the person pulling must listen to the other person. If right. they say, yes, pull more, pull more. If they say, oh, it hurts, you respect that and back off and maybe even stop. Should not increase pain at all. You only continue it if it feels good. Clearly a good stretch. So I'll pull like this. And I wouldn't do it on anybody with rheumatoid arthritis. Right, yep. Or loose joints. Yep. It's really, now, well, I'll pull like this, and I've done this with many patients. Right. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll rotate. You see the foot, I'll rotate a little bit, and, then, and if they say, oh, that feels a little better, and then I pull on it, they say, oh, it feels better with it rotated that way, I'll do it. If it doesn't, I'll go back to the original, or you can rotate inwards a little bit, and then pull. Again, pain-free. Again, you're gonna hold for about a minute, and that's about all you're gonna want to, because the person doing the traction gets tired, you need a right. break. Um, other things I do do is you may go out to the side and pull. And that's another little trick that may gap that joint and get that fluid in there and make it feel better. So, very good. Now I'm six foot eight on this side. Yeah, we just lengthened Bob on one side. He's going to walk crooked. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay, this next one is very easy. Uh, simply bring both legs up. We call it hook line position. And I call these the windshield wipers. Ankles together. Yep. Knees together gently and just go back and forth. And shoulders stay down. Yes, right there, stationary here. If you look, there's a fair amount of motion. So relatively, it's not aggressive, but it can be really helpful. Plus it loosens the back up. And if you'd like to take the painful hip and bring that knee up to the chest, stretches that hip out this way, do that five to 10 times. And it gets the knee range as well. It's kind of a double. Double benefit on that one. Now, if you do this and, and you're walking and walking continually irritates this, it really is beneficial to get yourself a cane or a crutch or whatever you'd like to use. Some, in some cases, it would be a walker. But if my right leg hurts, the cane will be in the left hand and then you walk and it takes weight off of that joint, opens that gap. It, it doesn't all that rough joint to grind against each other. It takes it off. And that, Bob, I, no, I would We're not say, saying it permanent. No, no. Yeah, when you have trying. sore days, relax, get right. that joint to break. Or maybe of, just at home. Sure. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. The king can be your best friend. Don't <laughs> forget that. Okay, the last recommendation, and this is going to depend on how you respond to it. If you respond well to heat to that hip, to loosen up the muscles, improve circulation, which is critical with any injury. Uh, if you use a hot pack, it feels good. Uh, the hip is a deep joint. There's a lot of muscles around. To really get into it deep, uh, you should use a far infrared heating pad. The disadvantages are relatively expensive, but right. they do work. They get in deep. I did have a hip patient. He was going to have... Uh, hip surgery in six months because of COVID, it was delayed. He used this every night and he just loved it. It was his savior. Yeah, right? it, it allowed him to get to sleep at night so he could sleep well, loosened up the muscles. So what you can do, and you can use this in a chair. Uh, he used it in bed like this in your wraparound. Maybe put a pillow here so you maintain that. Um, in any position you can to get that. The nice thing about this particular Thermatex Fire Infrared is you can use it on your hip, you can use it on your, your knee, back. ankle, hands, back. It's universal. Uh, and you're going to leave that on for 45 minutes. It's going to get deep into that joint, relax the muscles, and just make it feel better. Again, it's an option. Uh, keep that in mind. So, used and field tested. All right. <laughs> Bob, what oh. else do you have to say about hip pain with arthritis? I'm, 
I said it all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, hip pain, real uncomfortable. You can really prolong how long it's going to, you know, decrease the pain. Right. Lengthen out before you need surgery if it's that bad. Good and luck allow with you it. to sleep. Yeah, sleep. Sleep's important. All right, very good. Behave, be careful, and remember, Bob and I can fix just about anything except, except for, for a broken heart. That's right. And this hip stretches aren't going to help do that. Squat for it. Right. Oh, that's a, not a family show thing. The squat. It's my filters falling oh, apart. Right, right. I yeah, see that. Yeah, I know. It's getting worse. <laughs>